All right, so continuing where we left off in the last lesson, <clears throat> we're ready to go ahead now and, and start doing some of the um, main parenting and, and main control rigging. So what I want to go ahead and do here is start working on um, not necessarily the actual face, but we're going to go ahead here and do the tongue. And we're going to go ahead and tie, um, get ready so we can actually tie that to the facial rig whenever we go ahead and bring that in. Um, in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and make all the connections here for what are going to be our pedals. But for right now, before I go ahead and do that, I want to go ahead and actually rig the tongue. So let's go ahead and bring in our tongue geometry here. And you can see that this comes in right there. So we just need to go ahead and um, basically set up a joint chain here. Um, go ahead and skin it. So I'm just going to come in here to my animation tab, select my joint tool, just jump in here to our top view. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit 5 on my keyboard so I can have x-ray. And I'm basically just going to draw joints straight down the middle of the tongue here. Um, not necessarily of my following the actual geometry on the tongue um, in terms of there should be a joint in each one of these. Um, you can if you want, but I'm not necessarily doing that. So I think that's probably enough joints there. And so our, our rigs look like it's going to max out here at 213 joints, which um, that's a pretty heavy rig in terms of the actual joint structure. structure. But that's something that you'll have to do whenever you... Uh, try to get rigs actually perfect and I'm just going to try and place this in a way that's actually proper there okay so now that I have my um, joint system actually drawn out for for the tongue you can go ahead and actually name these if you wanted to but since it's a fairly simple joint chain I'm not going to go ahead and worry about that so I'll just go ahead and skin this and it's just the same settings as before as you can see here, so we'll go ahead and apply that. And so now our tongue is actually skinned, okay? And it's going to rotate and move the way that we want it to. Um, now what I want to go ahead and do is, I want to make this an independent rig, so, uh, so that it, a modular rig, so it's actually going to be able to be parented to um, the total face or the overall rig without having any scaling problems. So we'll just go ahead and bring in some... Uh, rig controllers here so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my outliner here and we will just start off with uh, we can go ahead and use a cross if we want to um, like I said it doesn't really have to be you know tongue specific you can if you want so we'll just go ahead and snap that to the main joint here and I want to go ahead and rename this so I'll go ahead and rename this the CC TO uh, tongue global okay and I'm just gonna go ahead and move those rig controllers off screen um if you want you can you know always go ahead and scale this up and sort of place it right in the middle of the tongue just to you know really indicate that is what it is okay um, we'll go ahead here and duplicate this a couple times because I know we're gonna need it so let's just go ahead and duplicate this once okay go ahead and duplicate this a second time well you know what let's go ahead and rename this first so we'll go with uh, CC tongue um, one and then we'll go ahead and duplicate it again so we get that number two just have to rotate it a little bit duplicate it a third time Okay. And then we'll go ahead and duplicate that a fourth time. Just select them all. And go ahead and scale these down just a touch. Okay. Making sure that we go ahead and select them all, including the, the Tongue Master Global. Go ahead and freeze the transformations and center the pivots on those. Okay. So now I want to go ahead and actually color these. So I want my Tongue Global here to it can really be any color um, we just want to go ahead and signify that this is actually going to be the global master control for it so we'll just go ahead and turn it pink um, something that's sort of off and doesn't necessarily fit with the rest of the rig 
So we can go ahead here and turn these something like um, yellow or green is typically what I'll go ahead and do. So we'll just go ahead and use green here. Okay. Now we can go ahead and close that. So now I want to go ahead and draw my spline IK here for the tongue. So we'll just go ahead and grab our spline IK. Just grabbing it and drawing it from the, the base here to the end. Let's go ahead and turn off our polygons, go ahead and turn off our joints, turn off our IK handles, select the curve that it creates, go ahead and hit F4 on your keyboard, come up here to edit curves, selection, cluster curve. So now we have clusters to be able to go ahead and actually move our tongue, as you can see here. But if we go ahead and scale this right now, this isn't necessarily working, so we need to make all those connections. And that's basically going to be done here in the outliner. So let me just go ahead and turn off my polygons real quick. Make my parent constraints for our tongue. So we'll just go ahead and select the curve, select the cluster, constraint, parent. But you also want to make sure that you maintain that offset. Okay. So now it's going to move. Do the same thing there for the second one. Just hit G. Third one, go ahead and hit G and repeat that command. The last one. Now, there really isn't going to be any animation on this <coughs> first one here because it would be connected basically to you to the rest of your mouth. Okay, so let's go ahead here and turn back on our polygons. Go ahead and turn on our joints here. And I just want to make sure that <coughs> everything is going to move here the way that I want it to. Um, and that's looking real good right now. I think our overall control there is fine. Um, if you want, you can always, you know, go ahead and bring back your, your IK handle and turn this into a stretchy as well so that you can basically stick your tongue out. And if you wanted to go ahead and do that, if we go ahead and take a look at our outliner here, this is all of our tongue controls. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and just first set up our um, parenting so that our, ter tons, uh, our tongue's actually going to move correctly. So we want to go ahead and select our IK handle. But first, let's go ahead and select our clusters. We'll go ahead and group them, and we'll call this the tongue clusters. Okay, select our curve, which is our spline IK curve, and we'll call this the tongue spline curve. Okay, you can also go ahead and rename your IK handle, so we'll call this the IK handle tongue. Go ahead and select those three. Shift select the tongue master control. Just hit P to parent that, so now it's going to basically move. Okay, take the joints, and we'll also go ahead and put that under the tongue global. So now it's basically moving. Take the, the joint there, parent it to that. Just making sure that it's going to work here. Okay, and then we will also take our tongue one, two, three, four. And we'll go ahead and move that and put that in there. So now our tongue master control will control the entire movement of our tongue. And it's also going to scale here properly, as you can see there. OK, so now let's say that you want to make that tongue stretchy. Just go ahead and select your IK handle. And you can use that stretchy IK script that I included. Just go ahead and hit stretchy. So now this is going to move. But you can see where this isn't necessarily stretchy. So we all, what we have to go ahead and do is we need to go ahead and select this little black dot. Okay. And just go ahead and parent that to that last control. So now when you move, our tongue is going to be stretchy. And if we go ahead and turn back on our teeth real quick, you can see where the tongue is actually going to have the ability to come outside of the mouth. Okay. So with all that set up, in the next lesson we'll go ahead and start the connections for what are going to be our pedals and the IK here for our main stem system. If you can let me go ahead and actually turn that on. I need to go ahead and turn on the IK handles. And we're actually going to go ahead and make sure that everything gets parented to this. So let's just go ahead and take a look at our outliner real quick where everything is pretty much set up correctly and in the way that we want. If we go ahead and just select this, I just want to go ahead and make sure that I drag these IK handle stretches underneath the uh,
Tongue Global Control so that now the stretch will um, scale correctly whenever we go to scale the rig. So in the next lesson we'll go ahead and come back and we will continue working on our flower and we will start doing the connections here for um, what are going to be our pedals and this is going to take um, a fair amount of time because there's a lot of connections in here that we have to make and we make um, have to make sure that we set up correctly so um, I'm just giving you fair warning that this may take a, a decent amount of time to go ahead and do so um, come on back and we'll go ahead and do that